Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Pillars of Eternity with me, Bring It On. Check in with Kolsch sure. one more time. Forgive me, friend. There is much to do. But we will not forget what you've done for us. Well, I should hope not. Especially not so soon. Mm hmm So next I want to go to Anslog's Compass and do the quest for the Crucible Knights. But before that, I'm going to swing by Gilded Vale to see if there's any changes to the town. We'll also get some rest and sell all the loot that we have. So, you think Kolsch is the forgiving type? <laughs> Apologies, I'm on duty. Also, before I leave, I want to try one more thing. Let's see about scaling this wall over here to see if there's any experience to be gained. Because we are very close to leveling up. The castle's bell tower rises up over the walls before you. Thick vines have grown over the outer wall, weaving over between the stones. The vines span nearly the full height of the wall, curling over the parapets. Examine the wall. The evergrown vines look fairly sturdy, but it is unclear whether they would bear a person's weight. Far above, you notice that a section of the parapets has fallen away, presenting a gap in the defenses. Jump to reach the vines. Get a running start on the bank of the moat and leap, aiming for some of the thicker vines. Your handhold sways, and there's an ominous cracking sound above, but the vines hold. The tower looms above you. Climb up the vines. The climb up the keep wall is long and wearying. Tagani and Iloth begin to lag behind, fatigued. But in time, the top of the wall comes within reach. You're able to pull yourself up and over. I no experience for it. Alright, back down. These rickety planks sit precariously over the side of the wall, looking out over the precipitous drop below. Beneath the scaffolding, vines grow in thick clumps over the weathered stones. Climb back down. After a few tense moments where you're left dangling precariously over the side of the wall, you manage to get a handhold. And slowly work your way back down to the ground. Mm -hmm. I'm curious how we got back across the moat. So we had to run and jump across it to get to the vines in the first place. We just pushed off the wall with our feet. We probably hurt ourselves when we landed. The campfire would be good. Well, I don't see any bodies in the tree. That's a good sign. I wonder if that jerk that greeted us when we first arrived at Gilded Vale was, has anything to say. Mm hmm. Look at this guy, Ergiot. Please don't cry. We'll give them a good burial. That's the last of them. Scattered between the roots are bracelets of twine and bead, wilting flowers, and notes half erased by the rains. That's all we can do. I, oh, gods. So many bodies. Argiot gapes at you. You. You're the one who murdered Lord Radric on behalf of that cretinous traitor. He sniffs. I'm sure you understand your request for housing and land is completely out of my hands now. I think I'll manage, considering I own an entire stronghold.
Right. Gods keep you. I don't see a sell all option. Or sell common or rare. Some sort of categorized selling option. I wish more CRPGs had some sort of way to annotate what books you've read and which ones you haven't. Uh, like a little check mark or some sort of icon. Maybe even an eye icon. Uh, does she have... I'm gonna start stockpiling enchanting resources or materials. Hmm. How do you do? I want to go check in with Afra or Alfra. Radric dead. She'd be a lot less scared about having her child. I also go check in with the blacksmith before we head to Anselog's compass. I don't know if that dialogue is in reference to killing Radric or to giving her that potion. So I really like the way the breastplate looks in this game. I wish there's like a a tabard or comma. Like the, the cloth thing that hangs around your waist and comes down to like your knees or so. Sure. Welcome. My favorite piece of armor. I guess nothing to say about Radric's death. Find oh, nothing here I need to buy, right? I think Tabard's just the, the coolest armor accessory. Alongside like a fur-lined collar. Both of those really bring a set of armor together. Right. By the dock.
Right. You there. Did Commander Cleaver send you? Greetings. The woman sizes you up, squinting against the glare from the water. You come from the Crucible Keep, I take it. I was told you'd have something for me. Tell me about what's happening at Fleetbreaker Castle. Her eyes narrow, but she eventually shrugs. You're obviously helping Commander Cleaver, so I suppose I can tell you. The High Justice has been gathering forces there. This mess with the legacy, the unrest, the man-eating corpses all over the Deerwood. It isn't going away anytime soon. And the dozens are using this as an opportunity for a power grab. She straightens. We've got to build up strength and defend the Deerwood, as well as our position here. And with these Forge Knights at our disposal, we'll be unstoppable. What's your role in this? I'm a commander stationed at Fleetbreaker Castle. I was sent to retrieve the research by the High Justice himself. He leans closer. He says, you know what this research is all about. You can imagine how eager I am to get it back to the castle quickly and quietly. A fully armored knight on this little boat all by herself. Doesn't seem like a very good idea. If she falls overboard, she's going to sink. and There's no one there to help her. I give her Viana's research. Here it is. Excellent. I should get this back to the High Justice before. She looks over your shoulder at a sound of approaching footsteps. Too late. Get ready. Padabald. This man's face is twisted into a snarl. Are you mad? You have the secrets to one of the foulest examples of animancy. You want to hand it over to the Crucible Knights. He shakes his head. It's an abomination. Cage Souls uses weapons. And you give these silk stockings an army of them. He raises his axe, tightening his grip around the haft. I can't let you do this. The research must be destroyed. Raise your weapon. Kill them all. Thanks, so, buddy. Alright, nothing to it. Aran Roed wipes her blade on the lining of her cape. I'll take that as our cue to leave. The dozen's growing so bold, there's no time to waste. She strides back toward the waiting boat. Give my regards to the commander, and watch you back out here. Fare thee well. Safe sailing. Check the two grimoires that I have.
All these tools here, we don't use them for anything. I assume that the rope and grappling hook we use to scale that one wall. Mm. But it didn't give me the option. Hey, level it up. Wait, wrong thing. There we go. Sign of Flame would be good. Uh, critical Focus is also good. We're going to grab Sign of Flame. Increases burn damage and damage reduction. So grant Sign of Flame. Uh, so plus 5 damage reduction against burn and plus 20% burn damage. Defiance Bay, and they swing by, I think, Crucible Keep. Well, for one, to turn to the quest, but also, uh, there is... Epic Supplies in there somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Alright, four days to get back and deal with that. Grayson rumors persist of strange and hooded figures emerging from the city catacombs. City guard advises caution, requests that all citizens keep alert. Sure. All right, Adair, some athletics for you. Bonus knockdown is always good. Look at the bonus knockdown. More crowd control is always good. Taking another look. Just to be sure. Yeah. Alright, let's grab that. Huh? Oscani also leveled up. Fantastic. All right, let's get merciless companion. Animal companions do small amounts of sneak attack damage against targets that qualify. Plus 30% damage. 
Hmm. I don't know if it actually has to be in stealth or not, or if it's a permanent. Uh, bonus of damage. But either way. We'll make it work. Alright. Another level up. Uh, we'll do lore here. Actually, let's do mechanics instead. Let's get pull of Yora. That's per rest, but it's 50 deflection for 14 seconds. That's better than all the spells that he has. But he doesn't get attacked very often, so I think I'm going to get Penetrating Blast instead. So it concentrates the power of Blast, and getting some of the target's damage reduction, so plus 5 DR Bypass. Especially with the Scepter he's using, that's a ton of damage. Speaking of, uh, still 5 out of 15. Yeah. All right, and we go. Right. I don't see anything about sneak attack damage there, so I think it has to be from sneak. I was hoping we're like sneak attack and pathfinder. Or as so long as you're considered flanking, you get a sneak attack. That doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, so what is the purpose of our quest here? Yeah, Durant's also leveled up. Uh, let's get him. Get some more athletics. All 
Uh, let's get Painful Interdiction. The priests are able to channel their fury through interdiction, adding a painful weakening affliction to the attack. Let's give it more debuff properties. Mm. Should I clear every room? I probably should. Ready, watch Am I at respect Sagonic? I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh, where's it at? No, no, this has to be passive, right? It's not from sneak attack. The description indicates that it'd be just a regular combat. It's a small amount of sneak attack damage against targets to qualify. Hmm. Oh, heard somebody get attacked over here. All the rogue knights defeated. Uh, let's see, Palagina leveled up. All right, uh, Wrath of Five Sons. Where the paladin uses sworn enemy, five orbs of flame leap from his or her hand and fly toward the target. Okay. Huh. He turns in the forge. Okay. One minute. My Justiciars were training the Forge Knights. In the next, they were being cut to pieces. Commander Cleaver wipes a streak of blood from his forehead. But the survivors owe their lives to your skill. You fought valiantly, worthy of any seasoned soldier. In fact, I'm naming you an honorary Justiciar. As a reward for your service, please accept this blade and armor worthy of a Knight of the Crucible. If there's anything else I can do for you, you need only ask. He turns to you, his gaze tempered by respect. I'll send word to Fleetbreaker Castle immediately. We clearly didn't understand the Forge Knights as well as we thought. For now, we'll have to continue recruiting the old-fashioned way. He scratches his graying beard. Yeah, that might be for the best. Forge Knights are obviously too unpredictable to use safely. I'm glad you agree with my assessment of the situation. And if I'd listened to Dunstan, none of this would have happened in the first place. I won't make that mistake again. Alright, so I did... Alright, we'll just sell that. Shame or glory? 
Plus 10 accuracy and below 50% endurance. Plus 20% damage on endurance below 50%. Plus 10 accuracy granted to an ally attack in the same target. And it's fine. A gift given to a young soldier before he left to fight in the War of Black Trees. This blade earned its name through the efforts of its bearer. The gilded sword was a common sight on the battlefield, but aloft and challenged once the soldier spotted a target. His fellows would converge upon the foe, and time and time again they found victory. Such was the sword's influence upon the morale of the troops, that on the occasion that the soldier nearly succumbed to a hail of Lanfothan arrows, prompting a swift retreat, a frustrated commander decided that the sword should have a new name, for it seemed to be what determined if they achieved shame or glory. Okay, probably won't use that. Let me just pop that in the inventory. And second skin, was that an ability? Oh, plus two armor damage reduction. Cool. Yeah. With this newfound wealth, we can buy that other summon item from the market as well, over in Copper Lane. I don't know if that's worth it or not. What is Firebrand? It's a sword of some kind. It's a great sword. I can worry about uh. that. Oh, I should have checked the merchant at Antslog's Compass as well. I know he sells some soulbound items. Uh, do the we have Crucible any Knights have their ambitions, but the stability of Defiance Bay is foremost in their mind. The Dukes are thinking only of their trading assets, not the long term health of our partners in the Deerwood. If Defiance Bay falls, all we will have left are overland routes. Not much comfort. Say nothing. She lets out a small laugh. Just thinking aloud. Okay. Let's exit here. Uh, next episode, we'll go, we'll buy that item from Copper Lane. And then we have to meet with Chancellor Warren about Caden Wah. some loot back here. Okay. I'm going to call the episode here. In the next one, we'll do a return to court. Do some shopping. And we have some more side quests to pursue after that. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.